actually look like a bush, look. <laughs> look how frizzy I am. It's like the 80s up in here. Hey guys and dolls, welcome back. So you might notice that I'm sporting some very like naturally wavy, frizzy hair. This is what happens when you put braids in overnight with no oil or no nothing. And this is the way we used to have to wear our hair on the TV show Vikings. I wanted to make this video for a few reasons. So I recently picked up the Perversion um, kit from Urban Decay, which is, oh, we'll get to that in a moment. But also I was on season two of Vikings for the whole summer and also season three, which is on telly right now. Telly is what we call TV in Ireland. Let me know if you also call TV telly, television. Tele. But yeah, because I was on the show and I got this eye kit and I saw this picture of Lagertha and I was like, oh, I have to do that in a video. See, so yeah, I'm gonna talk first a little bit about being an extra, how you can get into extra work if you're interested, you know, in television and productions, movies, that kind of thing. And then I'm gonna show you how to do this super easy smoky eye, which you can pretty much wear anytime you like. I have worn this a couple of times now on nights out, not with this hairstyle, but just with my regular loose waves. So yeah, being on Vikings was literally one of the best experiences I've ever had. You know when something happens to you and it changes your whole life and it shapes your memories and stuff? That's what Vikings was for me. It was one of my first um, jobs as an extra. Being on Vikings was literally like stepping into the world and living it. It was so incredible and I was just in awe because it kind of really reminded me of the feeling I get when I watch Game of Thrones and stuff and I hadn't seen season one of Vikings when I went into the set to work there. I was actually cast as a featured extra as one of Ragnar's servant girls so me and a bunch of other girls were kind of in a lot of scenes with him and all the main actors and they were so cool. Basically when you're an extra you are flesh furniture, let's put it like that, you're flesh furniture, you're filling out the scene and when you watch any show that you like, think of like your favorite TV show and actually write that down in the comment because I'm looking for some good new TV shows to watch. Think of your favorite show and any scene that's happening anywhere in public or with a lot of people in a room, if all those people weren't there, the show would be so crap. So you, you need a lot of extras. When you're a featured extra, you'll often either get a line or you'll get a part where you're actually directed to do something on camera and you're filmed doing a certain action rather than just standing around the background. I basically found out about the job because somebody shared a status on Facebook from Vikings had set up like a Facebook page looking for extras to go to an open casting. So you literally just show up and they take a photo of you and you fill in a form and then they'll base their decision on that. You can be any age, any size, from any country, it does not matter at all and you just soon quickly become part of this big family it's just so good i really want to work on game of thrones because that's actually filmed i think some of it's filmed in northern ireland but i live in like the south so i don't i actually probably would travel all the way up there just just to be in it oh my goodness so yeah definitely look out for when shows are casting there's always information about it online you just have to be open to looking for it and you'll either love extra work or you'll despise it i personally loved it and um, it's very long hours and you're waiting around a lot for your food but when that food comes like the four o'clock brownies that we used to get oh, we we would actually be like savages like drooling running up to the trays punching people out of the way <laughs> anyway i'm gonna shut up now and i'm gonna talk a little bit about this perversion little kit um this is one of my favorite makeup purchases as of late. I'm gonna give a quick review of this, a quick demo of this, and yeah, for my base, I'm gonna be covering that in an upcoming collab. My part of the collab will be talking through Acne Scar's base makeup, and this is my favorite base. Ooh, I'm like Kate Bush. What's that song where she's like, I'm not even gonna try. I'm sorry. So if you don't already know, Urban Decay are like the daddy of eye makeup products. This little perversions kit contained three eyeliners, one liquid liner, two pencil liners, and also a lash primer and a mascara. The pencils are really pigmented and they last so long, so, so long. Great quality and very multifunctional. 
So using the 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil from the Perversion Kit, I'm going to tight line my eyes on the bottom waterline and the top waterline and then I'm going to kind of messily run this along my upper lash line. You don't have to do a proper line here or anything like that, we're just packing on the colour. And then we're going to take a kind of densely packed eye makeup brush. This is the Crease Brush by Bold Metals and I'm using this to just slowly work the colour out and blend it outwards and upwards. I really like this smudgy effect and I'm going to make my look a good bit more smudgy than Lagertha's but it's more wearable so I prefer it this way. It'll look a little bit messy at first but just keep on buffing it out and blending it out. There should be enough left on your brush to then bring down along your lower lash line and make that look really really smoky and then you can take a bigger fluffier blending brush to blend it in and around your crease area then i'm deepening the blackness a little bit using the all nighter eyeliner from the set i love doing this it's so much fun <laughs> i'm like a child with crayons and I'm really impressed with the mascara so far. I'm going to prime my eyelashes using their lash primer, which is a pretty new idea to me. I've never done this before or had a product like this, but it definitely did make a difference. It's definitely some tough competition for my favorite, which is Benefit's Roller Lash. Mm. So yeah guys, I hope you've enjoyed this Vikings inspired little video and if you want me to do some more character looks, leave a comment with who you'd like me to you know, recreate and stuff. I find these ones very fun to do and my character makeup videos always go down really well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video, my little cherry clan. Bye! The left box is my everyday makeup routine and on the right, if you want to know what boys think of makeup, click that little guy. Bye.